Hello Strawberry Group and welcome to Tuesday's Phonics. So with our flashcards today, there's going to be some new ones added in there. We thought about a new set of spelling patterns yesterday, so a sound we already knew, but new ways to spell it. And that sound was E. So there's uh, three different flashcards that I have added in to um, the list of flashcards. And they are the ones that are making the E sound. Okay, now see if you can spot them as we go through. Okay, right, are you ready? Let's go. Did you spot it? There's our first one. E, A, together makes the E sound. Fantastic. Did you spot it again? There's another, another one of our new spelling patterns for the E sound, E. Why? Brilliant. Did you spot the last one? There's E, E, split digraph, making the E sound fantastic. Brilliant, okay, so today we are thinking about the E sound again. And we talked yesterday about how there are five different ways to spell the E sound, which is a lot more than we thought when we first learned the E sound and we just knew this one. Now, when we talked about the A sound last week, we knew that um, a I came in the middle of the word and A Y at the end and A E split digraph, you could hear it in the middle. But it's a bit more tricky with the E sound because there isn't as much as a, of a pattern. So it's just about doing lots of reading, lots of practice if you're following. And the more you practice, the more you will get to know which spelling pattern goes where. So today we're thinking about E Y. Now this is a nice one because this always comes at the end of the word. But the Y can also come at the end of the word. So it's a bit like, which one is it? I don't know, but you've just got to practice and you will get to know the sound. So EY is our spelling pattern of choice today and it's at the end of all of the words. Now, in a minute, I'm going to ask you to write these six words down and add the sound buttons. But before I do that, I just want to show you something. So if you spot these words, so this one, this one, and this one, I've put a little up above them, above the O, above the O. Now that's because when you read these words, if you read them out with the, each sound, they would sound a little bit funny. So when you see this uh above the o, uh, that means it makes the uh sound rather than the o uh sound. So if we do the first one together, I'll explain to you what I mean, okay? I'm gonna get my sound buttons ready. Now, if I was to sound this one out as I see it, I would say n, o, n, E, because there's my E digraph there. M -o -n -e, money. Hmm. Bit funny sounding, isn't it? So this word actually says money. So that's why I've put this uh above the o uh, to remind you that it makes a uh sound. Okay, so n uh n e money. Okay, so can you see that it's making the up sound? So this word here is also this up is also going to make the up sound. And again, down here with this one. Okay, but and don't forget these e y at the end of all the words makes the e sound. Okay, so your job now is to have a go at the other five words. You're going to write them down, pop your sound buttons on, and have a read of them and see if you know what they say. Okay, so pause the video to do that. Okay, brilliant job. Let's go through them together then, shall we? Okay, so here I've got a nice short one. K, E, K. Can we use our phonics fingers to sign that one out together? Are you ready? One, two, three. K, E, K. Brilliant. All right, another one here. Let's see using our uh sound where the op uh is. Okay, so let's see if we can do it. P, uh, N, E, honey. Brilliant, let's use our robot arms, get those ready. One, two, three. H, a, n, e, honey, fantastic, okay. Same with this one down here, this O is making the a uh sound ready. N, a, n, k, 
e oops, I need to sound button there. Monkey. Let's use our right fingers again. Give them a wiggle. Are you ready? One, two, three. Mm, uh, mm, k, e. Monkey. How many phonemes in that word? Five. That's a lot of sounds in that word, isn't it? Five phonemes. Okay, let's move on to this next one. Ready? D, o, m, k, e. Donkey. Brilliant. This is our robot arms. G, one, two, three. D, o, m, k, e. Donkey. Another five sounds in that word. And finally, let's do this one together. T, r, o, u, e. Trolley. Let's use our fight fingers one last time. Are you ready? One, two, three. T, r, o, u, e. Trolley. Fantastic. Now remember the all here, the two alls make one sound together, don't you? So that's a digraph. Brilliant job. Now, the next job this morning is I have got two sentences and they are hidden underneath my boxes. So I'm going to say the sentences and I'd like you to write them down and then I will reveal underneath what is underneath. Okay, so can you see that the first one's a little bit shorter than the second one's getting you warmed up, ready for a longer one. Okay, so your first one is, it's got only three words this one and it's got two tricky words in it and one of those words on this page. Oh, hang on. On this page, it's one of these EY words and two tricky words. Okay, so I'm going to take these EY words away. Remember, it's going to have this EY spelling pattern. In fact, I'm going to pop this up here. Oh, I've gone small. That's not what I want. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing now. Let's just go with that. Okay, so I have got impression on the button. That's why, aren't I, Miss Adams? Let's see. Here we go. Okay, so it's got this EY spelling pattern at the end. So the word that you hear that's got the E sound, that EY spelling pattern is in that word okay so first word first sentence i like honey three words i like honey i and like are our tricky words honey is our word that's got this ey spelling pattern remember what makes that a uh sound it's not an uh so have a good think about that one pause the video and have a go at that sentence fantastic okay so let's have a look underneath my box I, tricky word, remember, big capital I, whenever we say I, it's always a capital letter, whether it's in the middle of a sentence or not. I like honey. Remember, the O oh makes the U uh sound in that word, so hopefully you have that O oh in there, and then the E-Y at the end. That is our um, e, uh, e sound. A, uh, N, mm. E, honey, brilliant. Right, your next one's a little bit longer. In fact, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight words in this one. Okay, so I'm challenging you. So the word that's got the E sound is going to come at the end. It's got this E sound, E Y, it's going to come at the end of the sentence. Okay, and there's uh, one, two, three tricky words in this sentence. Okay, are you ready? Get your listening ears turned right up because there's eight words in this one. At the shop, I push the trolley. That's not eight words, is it, Miss Adams? That's seven words, Miss Adams, quite clearly. Or is it? One, two, three, four, five. Mm, I've missed out one of the words that I've written down. See, Miss Adams' brain is not engaged and your brain needs to be engaged. So shall I try that again? So there are eight words, but I missed one of them out. At the shop, I can push the trolley. Okay, so eight words there. Let me try again. At the shop, I can push the trolley. Okay, one last time. At the shop, I can push the trolley. Okay, so pause the video and have a go at that sentence now. Brilliant, let's have a look underneath here, shall we? At the tricky word here, shop. I, that tricky word, I, capital letter, I can k at n p -ush, push the trolley. That was our E-Y word. Remember, it has double L making the all sound. T, r, o, o, e, 
trolley brilliant i hope that you've really challenged yourself with that last word so great job year one now if you fancy yourself one extra challenge you can choose one of these words and write me another sentence that's just an extra challenge though but great job well done with your phonics today and i will see you again later bye everybody